Okay, now for question number three, and this is from the specimen paper. Okay, this is from the specimen paper from the examining board for P1, pure one. Okay, um, question number three is as follows. Um, we're asked, well, we're told that a curve has an equation y equals x cubed over 16 minus 4 times the square root of x. Uh, plus 8 over x, and we're told also that x is greater than 0. We've got to first find what dy dx is, and giving the answer in its simplest form. Okay, so we've got to basically differentiate, okay, find the gradient function for this equation. So you have y equals x cubed over 16. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare it for integration, uh, sorry, for differentiation, by writing the x terms in terms of indices. Okay, so this is third form, square root. I'll write that in, in index form. In index form, the square root of x is x to the power of a half. Okay, and 8 over x, I'm going to also write this in index form rather than fraction form. I'm going to write this as x to the power of minus 1. Okay, so that's how you prepare something to be differentiated or integrated if you're integrating. Okay, you write that in terms of the powers on the numerator and the powers in terms of um, indices rather than square roots. Okay, so now we're ready to start differentiating. Okay, so to differentiate, you have to multiply by the power, okay, and then, then take one away from the power. So this is going to be 3 times x squared over 16. And this is going to be minus, well, half times 4 is 2 x and if you take away one from a half you get minus a half okay and you're going to have eight well sorry not plus eight you're going to have minus eight because you have minus one times eight is minus eight and you have x to the power of minus two okay if you leave your answer like this is perfectly fine this is also considered simplest form what i'm going to do though is i'm going to also write it in this other form so i have three x squared over 16 I'm going to write this as minus 2 over the square root of x minus 8 over x squared. This is a nice form to write it in uh, such that you can then substitute values in as needed. Okay, so we multiplied by the power and took 1 away from the power in each case. Half times 4 and minus 1 times 8 and we took 1 from each of the powers. Okay, good. So there's our answer to part um, A. Okay, that's the answer to part A. Now part B. It says the point 4 to minus 2 lies on the curve. Use the answer to part A to find the equation of the normal to the curve at P. Writing your answer in this form, AX plus BY plus C equals 0, where A, B, and C are integers to be found. Okay, so now the normal to the curve, like if you have a curve, just say the curve looks like this. The normal to a curve will be a straight line which just brushes the curve without cutting through it. Uh, that's, that's a tangent to the curve, sorry. That's what a tangent to the curve is. Okay, it's something, it's a line which has the same gradient of the, as a curve at that particular point where it's a tangent to the curve. So a normal to a curve is going to be the line which is perpendicular to the tangent. So it's going to be a line that's perpendicular to the tangent at that point. Okay, so this would be the, the tangent, this would be the normal, this would be the tangent, and this would be the normal. So the tangent has the same gradient as the curve at the point, and the normal has a gradient which is perpendicular to the gradient of the tangent. So first of all, we need to find the gradient of the tangent. Okay, so to find the gradient of the tangent at P, we have to basically use the x value, x equals 4, and substitute it into the gradient function. Okay, so when you put x equals 4 into dy dx, which is the gradient function, all right, so you're going to have 3 times 4 squared over 16 minus 2 over the square root of 4 minus 8 over 4 squared. So we've substituted x equals 4 into the gradient function, and that will tell us the gradient of the tangent. So the gradient of the tangent is going to be 3 times 16 over 16, which is 3, minus 2 over 2, which is 1, minus 8 over 16, which is a half. Okay, so that, that's going to give you 
2 minus a half, which is equal to 3 over 2, 1 and a half. Okay, so the gradient of the tangent is equal to 3 over 2. Therefore, the gradient of the normal is equal to minus 2 thirds. The normal is perpendicular to the tangent. So the gradient of the normal is going to be the negative reciprocal. So you take the gradient of the tangent, you write it as this reciprocal, which you turn it upside down, and you also change the sign. Okay, so it's a positive gradient, it becomes negative, and it's, um, the, the, you write the reciprocal of the, the number. So the numbers, the, the numerator and denominator, they switch positions. So now we need to find the equation of the line where we have the point P, which is 4 minus 2. So we can use our equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we substitute the value of x and y into this equation. So you have y minus minus 2 equals the gradient we know is minus 2 thirds times x minus 4. Okay, so we can simplify this. Let me just get rid of this. Put this a bit lower down. Okay, so now you got y. Oops, left it behind. Okay, so you now got y plus two. Okay, equals minus two thirds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by three. Okay, that three times all of this, and I'll multiply the minus two with this bracket. So minus two x and plus eight. So what I've done is I've simplified that and multiplied both sides by 3. So the 3 cancels from this side, it ends up over here. And I've also expanded this bracket without the 3 being there because I've already multiplied. Just multi-step there. All right. Now we can multiply out this bracket. So we have 3y plus 6 equals minus 2x plus 8. And we're almost there. They've asked us to write it in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0. So it's always best in this type of situation to leave the uh, x term as a positive. So I'm going to put everything on this side of the equation. So I'll have 2x and I have got plus 3y and I have 6 minus 8, which is minus 2 equals 0. And it says where a, b and c are integers to be found. So maybe it's best for us to write a equals 2 and b equals 3 and c equals minus 2. And there we have the answer to question number two, number three actually, for this question paper. Okay, so I hope that was clear to you all. Thank you for watching.